offered some. Hello, 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 hello. Howdy, everyone. How you guys doing tonight? Why is my camera available as an audio option? No, turn me. <laughs> That's weird. I could have swore I had that disabled. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Hi, everybody. If anybody's here, that is. <laughs> Welcome, my guys. Uh, hello to the YouTubes, of course, whenever this eventually gets uploaded. I'm still way behind on that. Maybe I'll catch up on it a little bit tomorrow or something. Anyways, we're still playing some more Final Fantasy 16. Uh, it's been a few days. What were we doing? We need to go see Martha. That's right. Or with a butcher. Or, yeah, with a butcher at Martha's rest. Close enough. Anyways, doing some side quests and things before we continue the story. That's what we were doing. I more or less remember. <laughs> Kinda, sorta, a little bit. Hello, Mr. Noodle. Welcome, love. I am unsurprisingly extremely tired today, so yeah, <laughs> I was about ready to fall asleep before I came upstairs, I'm not going to lie, but I didn't, so we get to play some 16, which is good. Hello, Mr. Flesher. Are you a butcher or a flesher, or is your name Flesher? Maybe hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? It's a good name for a butcher. If you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Mm. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. And there was a war on that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were... You wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet. Memory serves. Trying to remember Thank where the you. hell three reeds is. <laughs> You've been most helpful. Thankfully, I'm sure the quest marker will lead us right to it. Uh, it's that way. So we should go across the bridge straight. Okay. I think I know where we're going, more or less at least. We'll find our way. Why? Scorpion tails, huh? Is that a thing like, I mean, I guess people eat scorpions, right? Like that's a thing. So it makes sense, I guess. I don't know. I kind of imagine they would taste like crab. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. They just kind of give that vibe, you know? Scorpions, crabs, they seem pretty similar to each other. If I had to guess what one tasted like, it would be something along those lines. Like crawdad or crab or something like that. Which isn't the worst thing, I suppose. I mean, if it tastes like crab, at least. I, I like the taste of crab. <laughs> I think it's pretty delicious. So maybe scorpion would be decent enough. Oh, these things. Are they like a special one or something? Because we fought a lot of these things before. Certainly isn't the first set of crabs we've ever fought. Or crabs, god damn it. <laughs> Scorpions that we've ever fought. They have a lot more health than most of the ones we fought before, but to be expected, I suppose. I love, like, how much harder it is to kill these crabs than it is to kill, like, an entire battalion of Empire soldiers. Oh, damn it. I hate that stupid shot lock ability. <laughs> it's just not... It's not very good, honestly. I'm sure it has its uses, but... No, I'm good. It does nothing for me. Did we get some violets? We did! The tails of certain species of scorpion are prized as a delicacy. The trace amount of poison remaining does something. <laughs> I didn't finish reading it. But, uh... I don't know, man. 
I understand a little bit of poison ain't gonna kill ya, but <laughs> still doesn't seem like something I want to be ingesting for shits and giggles. Now, there's still places cut off to us here. <laughs> okay. Well, back to the hideaway. Turn in these scorpion tails, and uh, I guess we can talk to that guy. I can't remember his name, but he finds missions for us. Just to make sure there's no other side quests that we're missing. I don't expect there to be, but just in case. Oh, it's actually this guy, isn't it? Yeah, uh, no, never mind. Did Not this guy. Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did, I believe. I did indeed. Marvelous. Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely. You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. Yeah. Into the pot it goes, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. And before he just dies. It's not a very appetizing bubbling sound. It's not a very appetizing looking I dish either. <laughs> Chances stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm uh, not hungry. Well, Same. it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. Odin's <laughs> <laughs> teeth. What the salt on the senses. It's like choking on swamp water. Yummy. And, and yet, up through the pungency, there rise complex, meaty notes. It, it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavors, but never. Bro, if you taste something taste and the taste of it just so puts you on fine. the ground, I don't think you can say it. Thank it's you. good. Like, you, uh, that you've never tasted anything so I fine. That's... <laughs> I, won't mm. rest the steaming bowl of stew sits before I don't know about all that, man. A, a single mouthful. And Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. We are way too nice to that guy. <laughs> Bro. Badge of metal plus one. What does I'm assuming that gives us like more renown whenever we do stuff, maybe? It's a plus one and it sounds familiar. Have we gotten it before? Oh, okay. It's just more defense. Which honestly we are a bit short on. What what do we have? The timely assistance. Meh, I mean it's fun. We're not dying or anything, so like yeah, it'll She's be fine. Quite a like into Lady there's Caron, there's him. Where is all of memories? Nope, none of that. None of these. Here it is. A line reports. That away, please. Uh, this way. Over here. Somewhere. Just gotta find the door. And while we're there, I guess we can check the renown shop again. Since we have a fair bit, maybe there's something worth grabbing now I don't really expect there to be but you never know dude there could be something cool oh shoot weren't we we were supposed to check for that hunt while we were there too actually I forgot about that anything catch your eye okay yeah so no quests available welcome to the patrons whisper come to claim your just desserts swelling chorus Used to be I would step into a tavern only to find myself overwhelmed with requests. Okay. Huh. I think we'll just keep saving up. Because, like, I'm sure you get an achievement or something for collecting all the musical pieces, but it doesn't do much for me on its own, to be honest with you. It doesn't really excite me. Where was this hunt before we go searching? The Broken Hilt. Rosaria, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, last thing. Last thing before we leave again. I 
want to go back to the bar and basically spend all of our money on booze for everybody. <laughs> I think it might do something for us. Was it you? What can I get you, Sid? Buy a round for the hall. That's what we like to hear. I have no idea if this is worth it or not, back, but everyone. Sid's buying. But I've heard through the grapevine if you spend roughly 40 grand here, something happens. That's about 20 now that we've spent. Oh, keep your mug handy. You look like you could do with a drink. That'll be 30. Honestly, Sid, you're too nice for your own good. Just gonna get everybody drunk as fuck, dude. That, Let's go. The next round's courtesy of the realm's most benevolent outlaw. <laughs> okay, seems like they're they're starting to to like me a little bit there. Trying to sweep me up a little bit. Don't be a stranger, Sid. All right, last one. Do we have enough money for it? <laughs> I don't actually know how much gill we have. As if setting our people free wasn't enough. Well, I got an achievement. I guess Good there's news, that. Everyone. The casks have been liberated. Here's to Sid. Was that... Was that it? <laughs> Did we just get a, <laughs> an achievement for it? Oh, keep your mug handy. Yep, <laughs> looks like it. Cool. We got an achievement. We spent 40,000 gil, but uh, worth it, I guess. We still have another 10 grand. Should we need anything? Okay, let's figure out where Vivian's sending us, because she might be sending us toward Rosaria. We were, we were in Rosaria, though, weren't we? And then we came back here after talking with our uncle. So she's probably actually going to send us in the wrong direction. But I don't think the hunt's back going again, anywhere. Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company, but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. <sighs> Ever the charmer. That's me, all right. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. The mother crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the Ironblood made their move. So the Ironblood are like the, the northern folk, right? The more quote-unquote tribal kind of people? As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No, the Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. Okay. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred. And they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill washtubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only so wait, too happy to they turn they against So wait, if they hate enemies. ether and see it as a poison, then why... Some 80 years ago, wouldn't they just help us storm. destroy the crystals? Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of ether, and with the blight at their backs, the northern territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the shields of the flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later... The Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Justanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of Duchy hmm. men have set foot on its shores in okay. your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship, meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity. 
Still seems weird to me that they haven't just destroyed it themselves, to be honest the with you. The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent. They worship it, Making but they Drostinus hate the holiest either. I'm holy so grounds. confused. <laughs> From which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood. For control of Drek's breath, had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria, sacked the capital, killed the men, and captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. So that was the iron blood that came and attacked us My that night. My aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Not the Empire? Thank you all the same. Goes to show, man, how my <laughs> memory is so poor. I don't, Let's see if I don't remember. Jill, I need you. Are you okay coming with us? I think so. Jill. When you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the crystalline orthodox. The man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need... I mean... To move I'm forward. not against it, to be honest with you. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. Hopefully we can stand up to Altima or whatever the hell he wants to call himself. <laughs> okay, but... Where was that hunt at? East pool, the dim, the broken hilt. Oh, I want to say this is in the broken hilt. Ah, oh, won't let us close. Okay, we're gonna go check the broken hilt real quick because I think that's where it was. Do the hunt and then do the mission, because otherwise I'll forget about the hunt. So just turning around and okay, I'm guessing it's in that like arm that's kind of hanging off of the broken hill here. I'm guessing it's just going to be at the end of that. It makes sense for the game why there's not, but it'd be really cool if there was like a day-night cycle. When you're out exploring around and things. Instead of just like being caught in a specific time. He ate a cheese stick and was forced to pay the cheese tax. I don't think you were forced. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you really didn't want to pay the cheese tax, you could have told the kiddies no. They would have been very upset with you, but you could have done it. Would have been a little rude of you to do as well, but I mean, you know. Three times? That's ridiculous, love. You were getting yelled at. That I believe. <laughs> hey, look at that. Big dude. That's got to be our hunt. Belfagor. Ooh, 10,800 gill for it. Not bad. We can use that to buy more alcohol for everyone. <laughs> no. Not that they really need it.
No, get off that. Damn it, dude. <laughs> I completely screwed that up. Bruh, this thing's got some damage output. Doesn't help that our, whatchamacallit is trash, our defense. Let's go, get down. Oh, no problem, Rue. Welcome, dude. I appreciate you coming in. How's your homework going for the night? Bruh, I need to be careful here. <laughs> We are out of healing items. And this thing hurts when it hits. You would think with like all the fire magic abilities that we have, we'd be like somewhat immune to, mag to, to fire. Apparently not though. Ooh, he's kicking our ass. Well, I really need to update the question of the day. That is outdated as hell. One question left for Spanish and God's help me. The final project starts tomorrow. Oh, no. Well, good luck with that, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, I think we're going to die here. <laughs> Come on. Damn, I hit that just a s second too late, dude. We might be okay. It's close, though. Honestly, dying here might not be the worst thing in the world. We get our potions and shit back before we continue the story missions. Like, okay, I should really just, like, stand back. Oh no, dude. <laughs> Our health is so low. Uh, we can get him down one more time. Oh no. No, 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 no. no. That's bad ability. Don't like that ability. Uh, come on, he's so close. He's down. Let's go. <laughs> we were so close. It is a good question, the question of the day. Don't get me wrong, but I had the same problem whenever it came up originally. Like, I could not, for the life of me, remember, like, any good <laughs> video game theories, dude. What's up, Nella? How you doing, man? Bro, I'm just trying to pet the dog. Let me pet the dog. Yeah, I know. Like, I spend so much time watching game theory and stuff like that. Like, I love game theory on YouTube. But for some god-awful reason, I just could not, for the life of me, remember anything interesting. How's the hack and slay? Combat and story-wise, really good. But I, I gotta be honest, the game's got problems <laughs> the game is far from perfect but the story's really good the combat system's great and it's a final fantasy game so i'm basically bound to beat it <laughs> a mainline final fantasy game spinoffs are another story although i do want to go back and finish like 13 2 and 3 and tactics Useful trick. 
Freezing and thawing the spray to make mist. How did you learn to use your powers like this? The Masters made me do it. When the Crusaders took to the seas. Mm. To keep the fleet's mm. movements from prying eyes. <clears throat> I'm fine. No, Using too not. much magic? This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. <laughs> Noodle is a game theory. Ooh. I think we found the island. There she is. The Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. Can we just destroy it from like outside or do we have Great to breath. go deep underground again? I'm assuming the heart of it's going to be deep underground. Strong yeah. currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. Island this looks island dead, is dude. A natural fortress. But safety breeds complacency, allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. You can change the voice cast, but Square Enix. Um, recommends Sanctuary even to Japanese player or for Japanese players to play in English. Um, to this was an English day. first Final right. Fantasy game. So Let's all go. of the lip syncing and everything was designed for English. And then also just setting, because it's very, you know, Game of Thrones medieval esque story and setting. It. it used to belong to Rosaria, didn't it? Once, though it's been in the Ironblood's clutches for far too long. As was I. Yeah, yeah, script was done in English. Well, I don't actually know that part, I guess, but English was recorded first at the very least, and uh, all of the lip syncing was done in English, which would certainly lead me to believe the script was done in English. Mm. So there are ether floods here as well. Which is weird. They were talking about, like, when we were in the mines of the other one. At the other Mother Crystal, they were talking about it like it would be some rare thing. Plus, how are they supposed to mine it, right? Because normal humans can't withstand the Ether Floods. We only can because we have the, the icons. The gods living inside of us. So is, are these Ether Floods, like, a new phenomena? Or do they come and go? <laughs> I'm a little confused on how this all works. I guess it's probably just a convenient way for the developers to explain why there's no massive hordes of guards protecting these things. here. Little but noticeable script differences between both languages, so it's kind of surprising hearing this was essentially localized into Japanese. See, and like, I don't know anything about the the script for it in Jap uh, Japanese. Was like any of the differences or anything like that, they but that I was just bad. surprised because it's, it's a Final Fantasy out. game. <laughs> you know, and Square was like, yeah, hey, Japanese people, play it in English. <laughs> like, <laughs> just use subtitles. That was just so backwards to me because, you know, forever it was the, the exact opposite. I mean, I don't think Square's ever recommended that English-speaking players play their game in Japanese. Um, but there were certainly decent reasons to in a lot of their games.
Tiny bits of gill. Ooh, is that a troll? Looks like a, oh no, it's a minotaur. That makes more sense. An ether flooded minotaur, even, even better. Did I tell everyone about my problem with Chromium the other day? It's more than the... It's been a couple weeks now, I guess. I downloaded Chromium to mess around with it a little bit from, like, an official source. And I was so confused because once I, I downloaded a pre-built version of it from the, from the development website. Anyways, point is... Um, and then, like, I went to launch it and I could not anywhere find the EXE to launch Chromium. And I was so confused as to, like, why? Well, I checked my security log a couple of days ago, and apparently Windows grabbed it as being a virus. <laughs> and so, like, I looked it up, and apparently it's a pretty common false positive. Um, but, like, it was, I don't know, it just surprised the hell out of me. Like, it's Chromium, dude. <laughs> like, I understand it's not nearly as popular as Chrome, but would think it would be oh well we got smacked but I still wouldn't have expected it to be a, a false positive fast souls like I wouldn't really call it a souls like it's uh the combat for it if this helps was made by one of the guys that did the combat for DMC I don't know which DMCs exactly um but one of the devil may cry combat designers did the combat for this game, so. So it's basically like DMC combat crossed with, you know, some Final Fantasy stuff with like the, the magic and things. Chrome itself to be a virus because there's actually cost. <laughs> uh. I love Chrome, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. I've considered trying to go back to, like, Firefox or something like that, but I just... I can't bring myself to do it. Chrome is just too good. Okay. No map. But I don't see anywhere else to go, anything else to do. I think we're pretty much just straight shot to wherever they're trying to funnel us to. Is this a potion by any chance? Yes. Those will come in handy. Not that it really matters. If we die, we just get our health back anyways. But <laughs> it's still nice, you know, to not have to die. You did go back to Firefox if you have any issues. You have Edge as a backup, which is just Chrome that's been reskinned. So, <laughs> which is one of the other reasons why I haven't changed anything. It's like Opera GX looks cool. What a mess. Reskin to Chrome. Edge, it's not actually terrible these days. It's just Chrome. Like, <laughs> they're all just right. Chrome, dude. Like, <laughs> you have Firefox and you have Chrome. <laughs> See, I, I don't know. I've sold my soul to Google. I'm not mad about that i use chrome i use a google pixel phone i use google pixel earbuds google pixel watch my cell phone service is provided by google like <laughs> so i've just accepted i have google speakers all over my house <laughs> it's just it's fine google knows more about me than i do and i've just accepted that Been a while since we fought a Marlboro. Or whatever the hell they're called in this game. Yeah, I mean, before Chrome got popular, I was an avid Firefox user. And I never actually, like, I don't dislike Firefox, to be clear. I think Firefox is a good browser. It's just, since Google owns such a large part of the web, I just find that things tend to be more compatible with Chrome. Um, so I just kind of stick with it. Oh, you bastards. 
this an attack? Yeah, okay, it's done. I was worried those stupid tentacles were just going to be like a fact of life <laughs> fighting this guy. And I was not looking forward to that. Which way are you shooting your breath? Okay. Oh, well, we got hit. Yeah, I did see ungoogled Chromium when I was looking into Chromium. But, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm fine with Google owning everything about me. <laughs> like, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Obviously, I would prefer privacy in basically all things, but I've just accepted for all of the conveniences that I enjoy, I have to pay the price. <laughs> and that price is all of my private data. <laughs> Halfway there. We still have some health back. Or some health back. Wait, Water Fox? What's Water Fox? Oh, it's a Firefox fork. I didn't even see the first part of that there. What does it do differently? Like, what's the, the benefit of something like Water Fox versus Firefox? Don't get me wrong, I, I do also really appreciate what Mozilla does for everything <laughs> with the, the open source community and with their projects that they put out there and make available to people. Like, Mozilla is an amazing company. You've never used it? Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I also think, like, for me, there's so little that I actually want from a web browser. Because, like, I'm not really a, uh, a plug-in user or anything. I only have a couple of plugins, and they're relatively simple ones for, like, the Internet Archive, as an example. Uh, things like that. Like, all I really want from a web browser is for it to be hardware accelerated and to work with every website that I go to, right? Like, <laughs> and then like things like password managers and stuff are super convenient as well being built in. Cause I, I have every password of mine is a unique password and I prefer to keep it that way. And there's no way that'd be possible without a password manager. Now, obviously there's third party ones like LastPass and stuff that I could use, but again, convenience. Go down already, dude. Come on, dude. How are you still standing? You should be... Okay. There we go. It's like, how is he still not staggered, dude? Come on. He's so close. We're close, though, too. <laughs> like, if we take one or two hits, we might die. Thank God. Anything cool for the fight? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> Generic materials. Awesome. Press on? Yes. I'm guessing this mother crystal has something to do with fire. Because <laughs> there's a lot of red stuff. That looks like lava. <laughs> These people be 
acting like it's super hot in it's here. Like a the volcano. Oh, it's in a volcano. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess that makes sense then. It would be warm inside here. Time to find out. Nice. It was. And they're getting bigger. No. Stop with the shot lock. Honestly, I kind of want these things to kill me. I don't know. I think we've only ever died during like the larger fights, the boss fights or whatever. I wonder what happens if you die to just like the basic creatures like this. If you still restart from the same fight? Or is it like the last auto save at that point? I imagine we would still get a full heal and uh, a heal or a fill up on all of our healing items, our restoratives. This gate seems useless when there's a rock right here. I realize we can't go up that, but like, if anybody was actually trying to break into here, that gate wouldn't do shit. I guess if like an army was coming in, it'd be a lot harder to climb over that rock quickly than to funnel through the gate. how these scorpion tails would taste better or worse that's a scorpion tail okay oh <laughs> god we're gonna die <laughs> to the salamander yep <laughs> okay well time to find out retry last checkpoint okay so when it's a non like boss fight, it is checkpoint. That makes sense. The checkpoints seem pretty uh forgiving though. Ooh. Ooh, wait, hold on. I didn't see this direction last time. I'm happy we died now. Anything fancy up here? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did we just Was it just a different way to get to the same point? I'm thinking it is. Or no, okay. We are higher up, at least for now. Although this looks like it's going down. They got to meet back up at some point, though, right? Is this it? Yeah, okay. So it's just a way that we can skip that guy, basically. But, like, why would we want to do that, dude? No, let's get in there. <laughs> Fight the salamander. I wish our semi-prime didn't, like, continue to count down whenever you're doing cutscene stuff like that. I can't see you, but that's fine. Just blindly attack. That thing took so much of his stagger gauge down. Aw, oh, damn it. We were doing so well with not getting hit. I 
I think he's dead now. Come on, get him before he gets back up. There we go, dude. Oh, there's another box over here, too. Or no. That's the one we got when we came out of there. Okay. I'm dumb, that's all. Fuck. Is there no other way across? It's fine. You literally have like two fire gods blessings, dude. Turn into Ifrit and then just walk across it. Like, <laughs> it'll be fine. Maybe Jill can like freeze it or whatever. She's got ice god inside of her, Shiva. Or that, I guess, just a <laughs> wall of ice. I mean, if this is the only way in and out of here, we might have to do that again. Wait, when we blow up this crystal, is the volcano going to blow up too? <laughs> I don't know if I want to be inside a volcano when it blows up, man. That doesn't sound like a good time for anyone. They don't look too tough. Not a Ooh, bomb. Like I'd rather take you out quickly if possible. Where'd the bomb go? Ow. Oh, here's one of them. Oh, that stupid shot lock, dude. Good thing you can't, like, fall off the cliffs here, because I'd be so screwed. Hey, Ice Queen, you want to, like, maybe destroy this bomb for us before it blows up? Ah, oh, we didn't have a crap. Okay, we got it. It's fine. Oh, oh, I don't think he's too happy right now. Wait, what is... Oh, was that like his core or something? I thought that was like an item on the ground, dude. I really wish we had a map. Okay, so we can hop across there. Or go this way. Well, we aren't going this way. Never mind. <laughs> We're not going that way. This way it is then. That makes it easier for me. That looks safe, Drake's dude. Breath. Hey, Joe, be careful. We're nearly at the oratory. I hate for that to like crumble under you or something. Couldn't you just create like a sheet of ice to walk across? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> You're an NPC. You just teleport. <laughs> it's, it's cool, I guess. What the hell? Red moose. You're new. Oh. Well, whatever it is, I don't think it's friendly. Yeah, no, I think that's right. Okay, I'd rather not get Faraga right now. Bruh, I can feel our defense being super low. Now that we're fighting creatures more or less our level again, it's painfully obvious how low our defense actually is.
He was... What was that, dude? For a moment, I thought he, like, separated into pieces or something. Really wish elemental weaknesses were a thing. Seems like such a big thing to just overlook. Come on, dude. Just die. You have, like, a sliver left. Thank you. But you turned into a little ball too, kind of like the, the bombs. Does every mob do that and I've just never noticed before? Mithril wristlets. That sounds like defense. Although to equip that... Or no, wait. Wristlets, that would be this. Let's go. The appearance of Mithril in Valisthea is a fairly recent occurrence. It's history only going back as far as the fall of the first mother crystal and the emergence of the Deadlands? This led some of the crystalline orthodoxy to preach that the Blight is somehow involved in its creation, therefore making it both impure and holy? How does... what? <laughs> How does that work? I wonder if we can upgrade these at some point, because the purple ones are the, like, story ones, right? I never... <laughs> Why have we not upgraded to the 11 bolt sword? Well, okay. We've been handicapping ourselves a little bit. Pretty cool looking. Um, Which way are we going? Bruh, I feel that so much, Noodle. <laughs> I'm so tired myself. I'm sorry you're too tired to really enjoy your bath, though, love. Okay, we haven't used any of our potions yet. So, well, I was going to say, since we uh, are out of Strength Tonic, we should probably switch to Stone Skin or whatever it's called, but... Oh, this one just did. No better. I think this volcano was about to erupt. Bro, what was I just saying? <laughs> I'd rather not erupt while we're in here, please. How do I switch items? Here we go. Stone skin tonic. Add to shortcuts. This one. Confirm. Okay. This one must be the exception. Real fancy name they gave it there, dude. Literally just Flame Lizard. Is that attack called Incense? Ooh, vulnerable to lightning, huh? we can get it into stagger the better i can't see it though so we're about to take some hits nice dude let's go ah too late I like to try to get this uh, attack in right at the end so it has the benefit of the multiplier. And since it freezes time when it's going, it just works perfectly. Damn, dude. It's twice now we failed to dodge that attack. Three times. <laughs> I think... I think we're just cursed to never dodge that one. Fire water? That's just a laser beam of fire, my guy. Ain't nothing water about that. Oh, I did not mean to use stone skin again.
Ooh, buddy, he's getting there slowly. Did she even hit him with any of that magic she was just doing? It looked like all of those big uh, icebergs just kind of hit the ground next to it. Oh, he's still going. That hurt. The tornado's cool, but my god, dude, does it kill any vision that you ever had of the creature. Tank the hit. Tank the hit. Get it in. Let's go. I feel like the stagger is going up really quick. So freaking close, dude. Thunderbolt for the win. Let's go. That's got to drop something neat, right? Gnarled scale. That was for... I think that might have been for the blueprint we just unlocked. With the gnarled scale. Let's hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chambers is just up there. Then we make for the sanctuary. I need to finish this. Before the heat finishes me. Here, here. So wait, if there are still guards here, we'll enter where the are they? <laughs> like, I would have thought we would have come across one or two of them by now. Sounds like we'll have a hard time staying out of sight. Wait, how do we get over there? We won't there? have to. There's someone Here. there I should okay. very much like to nope. see. Nope, that's the way we came down. Right? Yeah, because there's the chest. Okay. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I didn't see these stones for us to jump across. Climb. Do love me a good ladder. Look at that one. It's even got the the I don't know what they're called. <laughs> the metal poles going up higher, the legs going up higher, dude. So you have something to grab onto when you get at the top. That's handy. All ladders should be like that. Wait, is this Were we supposed to go in here? Oh. Is this the dude she wants to kill? I would have explored more outside if I had thought this is where we were going. <laughs> My bad. Those eyes, though. <laughs> Very cute color scheme and everything, but those eyes, man, holy shit. Some big alien bug eyes, like. <laughs> they're just, I think they're just a little bit too much, that's all. <laughs> I think I've made fun of them before and you've said something about it too. I'm sorry, love. I cannot talk here. Come with me. <laughs> They're very pretty. I don't know what I was thinking. They're perfect. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, really? <laughs> I'm so glad you're safe. And I, you. This is where you tell her, get Why the fuck out of here before I destroy back? this shit. Are you a fool, girl? Or have you gone tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me, where is the Patriarch? At this hour, he'll be in the Comric, giving thanks. You mean... Oh, fiend! Clive, we have to get to the Sanctuary. Now! Lady Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things, and go. There you go. Now listen here, Jill. In Alak, Lord! We have company. <gasps> They're full of tears first from Mass Effect. Follow Guessing you just had a heartbreaking moment. Which one are you playing? You playing two? Stop dawdling. Thank you. You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. Take care, my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me. Morden Morden is guy. I don't know who Morden is. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Anderson, not Anderson. No. <laughs> Jokes aside, like I'm sure it's a very heartwarming moment, but I have no idea Please, what you're talking about. <laughs> you promised to do the same. <laughs> My heart. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, Clive. We're nearly at the Comrec. Bro, now I'm mad I didn't explore that other area. I mean, I highly doubt there was anything cool to find there, but like... A good PC for the happy ending mod. <laughs> Wait, is that a thing? A happy, a happy ending mod for Mass Effect? That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Welcoming party. Oh, well, I guess we're doing shot lock because I've had enough of their hospitality. A much better version of the perfect ending. Ah. Is the perfect ending the one that is upsetting you right now, or Or did you not get the perfect ending and that's why it's so heartbreaking? Kinds of new enemies, eh? You're about to get fucked. Get wrecked. <laughs> Saw the sad moments to prepare myself, and it was a mistake. <laughs> oh no. If you do need advice on a PC to get, though, if you have any, like, options that you're looking at, by all means, I am happy to help you out there, my guy. Can't give you much advice on the whole Mass Effect thing, because I've never beaten any of them. <laughs> but I am decent with PCs. You're killing people left and right, literally. <laughs> to the left and right. Yeah, a lot of death in this game. That's for sure. They took the uh, Game of Thrones inspiration seriously. We got... Yes. Very much so. <laughs> oh. It's their first M-rated game. Um, 
I personally like the grittier tone to the story. I don't know if I'd want every Final Fantasy game to be this way. But my personal, like, wish list for Final Fantasy 17 is gritty grown-up story, more akin to 16. A uh, similar combat system, because I know they're not going to go back to turn-based anytime soon. And fix the exploration and crafting, man. Because those are my two, are? like real complaints about the game right like the crafting system is basically pointless money is basically pointless there's really no reason to do 99 percent of the side quests they're not particularly interesting and the rewards are usually just money which again pointless or crafting materials which again basically pointless like <laughs> Damn it. I need to pay at least a little bit of attention to what's going on here. Just kind of trouble being alive. Take a deep breath. Just keep going into the rubble to look for you and they find out as you take that breath. What? Really? <laughs> they find you as you're, like, you take your last breath. That is, that was a weird choice, man. I guess they just wanted to have like a finite end to the story. And so they were just like, yep. Wait. How do you anymore actually makes sense if you're through going and throw a look and pick that breath? Come on after all the shit you're going through. Oh shit, I should be attacking right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. It's hard to like parse text and try not to die at the same time. I'm failing at one of those already. Well, both of those really. <laughs> I'm gonna die. A little bit. Maybe a little more than a little bit, but... <laughs> the ADD is real. Come on, dude. You're close. Just die. This dude's got some defense, man. That's a low number for stagger damage. There we go. Didn't think that from a game is brutal. <laughs> yes, sir. Really wish we could use the map in here. Maybe 10 years old, so that's definitely not good. I think you're a little older than that, my guy. Just just one or two years, you know? Where am I going? Okay, there's people down there. So that's probably the right way to go. Is there anything we've missed, though? Can we go through any of these doors? Probably not. Even though, as I just said, exploration mostly pointless i can't help but try at every turn like <laughs> just one or 13 years yeah somewhere in between seven and a half years like or six and a half whatever i can't math right now either dude i'm so dead tired like at the moment it's ridiculous <laughs> but i was dedicated to playing some final fantasy 16 tonight man I have a, uh, a goal to beat it within, well, I mean, it's like another three months before my goal time is up, but still, that website I've been talking about on and off on stream, Infinite Backlogs, there's a challenge to beat it within, like, the first three months of release, and stream game time is pretty much the only game time I have, so we're gonna do it all on stream, let's go. Uh, okay, we'll go that way in a moment. Chest. 1,620 gil. I think that is the single highest amount of gil I've seen from a chest. I think. There may have been one with like 2,500. That might be true. Clive, 
I can't actually remember though. There's something I need you to know. I Dude, saw where the are you? Do things no one should have to see. You're talking so to me. I You're not even here. He oh, why are you hiding behind the wall, dude? I understand. I faced my demons. Then you must face yours. Oh, it's loading us up with potions and shit. Is this the boss fight? That looks like it could be a boss arena up ahead. Oh, is that the crystal too? That's perfect if we can just deal with him and the crystal at the same time. God damn it, Twitch, why? <laughs> We're gonna give it a second, see if it reconnects. Why is Twitch gotta be like this, dude? Double check my internet. I did have some internet trouble a night or two ago. So it could be me. It doesn't look like it's me. It's not me. My internet's working fine. Okay. Yeah, it's not even dropping frames. It's just straight up like disconnected from Twitch, man. That's annoying as hell. I don't want to start the next fight because like... Hey, there it is. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't drop out again. I was waiting to go into the fight because, yeah, I saw, like, as soon as it died, or roughly when it died, I saw we were approaching what I'm assuming is going to be a boss fight, or at least close to it. So hopefully Twitch doesn't drop out again in the meantime. Oh, bruh. That scared me. I know we can't fall off of cliffs in this game, but getting that close to that cliff scared me, bro. Stagger, yep. Pull him down. And Gerudo. Perfect, dude. Let's go. Can we expect to point of shoes sometime in this life? Yes, at least. Yes. <laughs> when in this lifetime? Couldn't tell you, but yes. Because I mean, there's a Klonoa game on PS2 and I still have the same goal of streaming every PS2 game, at least trying every PS2 game. So it's definitely gonna happen at some point if I can help it. I just have no idea when. It depends on when a copy becomes available to me at a reasonable price. Oh, you dick. You have way too much health, Mr. Iron Blood Fanatic. That's one of the 10 games in the PS2 that's built with Disney support. That is cool. I don't know, I've always wondered, like, whenever I see that pop up on games, like whether it's Pro Surround or Full Dolby Digital or whatever, I never know if that works with my streaming setup or not, like, <laughs> I just don't know. Because, like, it goes from the PS2, I, I imagine Dolby Digital probably wouldn't, because I'm assuming it's, like, full, like, 5.1 in Klonoa right not just stereo because the way I have it hooked up is through the component cables or composite whichever one I always mix up component and composite the one that's not 3 but 5 Dolby Digital is 5.1 yeah so no I don't think it would work then 
because I don't have any way of hooking up uh, the toss link connector on the back of my PS2 to my streaming setup. Because it goes from that to a RetroTINK 5X for upscaling, and then from the upscaler to the capture card to the PC. So. But, like, even Pro Surround, I don't know if it properly works or not. Because I'll be honest, I've never been able to, like, tell the difference between Pro Logic or whatever it's called and just regular <laughs> Pro Pro Logic, I think that's what it's called, not Pro Surround. Anyways, I've never been able to tell the difference between that and just regular stereo. I'm sure if I, like, sat down and listened to two samples back-to-back, -back, it would probably be noticeable, but while actually playing stuff, yeah, it's always been lost on me. I miss, I used to have 5.1 surround sound headphones and not the virtual surround sound like most headphones are. But like actual 5.1 surround sound headphones, like each side had like back, center, front, um, sub uh, speakers in it, right? So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so four speakers in each ear. It was pretty cool. But uh, new motherboard and my new computer doesn't like those headphones, so. You're making sacrifices, human sacrifices at that. Well, they're probably bearers, which they don't see as human, so what do they care? Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I followed your orders. Your ah. Orders. All to protect the children you took. Maybe that's why Just I've never noticed the difference. Me. And what did you do in return? them in chains and you slit their throats Fiend. <laughs> their souls were sullied with a stain of ether i merely cleansed them of their corruption a penance paid just as the holy mother wills it fanatics dude i can't <laughs> i can't deal with fanatics a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymric is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster. And my soul is stained black. Though not by ether. But by the evil of men like you who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. You tell him, Jill. This is my penance. Bro, I'm here for it. Let's kill this dude. <laughs> Nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bear its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage. Be as you have ever been. A monster. And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. Kill them. Oh, yeah, dude. 100%. Like, if they, I listened to two samples back to back, I'm sure I would. But, like, in practicality... Well, okay, I think it probably depends on your setup, too, though, right? Because, like, if you're listening to Pro Logic with just stereo headphones, would you really notice the difference that much? Legit question, I don't know. I never have, at least. 
but I've never listened like back-to-back -back samples either. If you had a 5.1 surround sound setup though, and you're using something like Pro Logic, Pro Logic, I'm sure the difference would be pretty, pretty obvious, given what you said about it being just a encoded uh, 5.1 signal. Wait. Wait. Is that... What is... Bro, what is going on? <laughs> Who is that? I saw what looked like Joshua. And then this thing appeared. I thought Joshua was going all Phoenix on us, but... Is this like Ultima? Controlling the Phoenix slash Joshua? Or like... Okay, Clive, now's probably the time to get out Ifrit, because this thing's probably just going to hop. Yeah, I was going to say, like, <laughs> this thing is not going to be bothered one bit by Shiva. Bro, that sucks, Rue. I'm pretty lucky in that power outages aren't too common where I live. Where we're like, <laughs> my brother lives though, which is only like 10 minutes away from me, or where he used to live, bro, they were constant. It was terrible. Why? Why can't I do it? Speaking of Breath of Wild, I need to play more Tears of the Kingdom, man. I played a, a bit whenever it first came out, was really enjoying it, and then just kind of ran out of time after my vacation was over. Please, just one. Oh, was it for real? Maybe they were inspired by it. <laughs> yeah, that looks like Semi Prime. She won't be able to hold that long. <laughs> and here we are fighting gods as just a normal person again. Like, I don't know how I feel about. Well, okay. No, I was gonna say banana syrup and coffee sounds gross to me, but I used to drink those protein shakes that were like uh, coffee. Was it coffee, peanut butter, and banana? I can't even remember what all was in it now. <laughs> I know there was coffee powder in it. I cannot for the life of me remember if it had coffee or, or I'm sorry, if it had banana, peanut butter, or both. I think it was both. Have a good night, Nello. Thank you for stopping out again, guy. I do appreciate it. Liquid flame, he's called. Morning hits eight. Well, <laughs> good morning to you, sir. <laughs> See, I always consider night to be whenever I go to bed and morning to be whenever I wake up. Because I'm also one of those people that goes to bed super late, early, whatever you want to call it. For me, it's like five o'clock in the morning, not eight, but still. Regardless, man, <laughs> have a good rest. <laughs> Oh, okay, that hurts. That was bad timing. Trying to get him into... Stagger as quickly as possible, please. That was a good chunk. Swelter. Oh, wait. Did he just get a refill? 
Okay, something's happening. Goodbye, ice. I mean, if you got a streak up, man, then yeah. I say definitely. I need to get back into pr practicing my uh, flash cards on Anki. All right. It's been a while. I, take long. I mean, uh, personally, I say yes, but you know, teach their own. <laughs> Bro, that did all that work we did getting him into stagger and he just refilled his stagger gauge. That's annoying. And personally, I say go for it, man. Get your lesson in before you go to bed. Even if it's a short one, right? A little bit's better than nothing. Turn into a freaking dragon and ah, why were we so close to dying and then we came back and what just happened? <laughs> I'm so confused. That sounds bad. Whoa, hi, fire creatures. Which one am I meant to be attacking? Any of them? Are these mini Efreets? <laughs> uh, I don't like you guys. Oh, that's, yeah. A, I just realized we were inside a giant circle. <laughs> as soon as I realized that, I was like, this is gonna be bad. It was bad. That hurt. Good thing if we die, we get all of our shit back, because if there's another fight after this, I think we're gonna be in a rough spot. Damn. I don't think this tornado is even going to catch up to him. He's too fast. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Got a couple hits in. Apparently I parried. I can't see shit, so that was pure luck. 100% luck. Dagger gauge. Bastard. Just gonna be enough. Lightning's pretty strong. No, oh, just a tiny bit too short, dude. Come on, a few more hits. Dead. See, we don't even need the power of effort, man. We can just we can just murder semi god like beings as a normal person. Two times liquid flame, a flame trap mid dance, both ethereal and cor corporeal, <laughs> fleeting and enduring, but very much alive. Now, where did Dickhead disappear to in all of this, man? Kill. We still want to kill him while we're here. Like. <laughs> I'm going to finish this, Clive. Speaking of, how are we even going to break the crystal? Because it took Ramu's staff or whatever the hell to do it last time and Ramu's not exactly here with us anymore Get 
Oh. Is that really going to make it possible? I guess we'll find out. Give it a little stabby stab, see what happens. Well, come on, bro, before the sword melts. I guess it worked. A little bit of ice is all it takes, apparently. Are you watching, Sid? You're one step closer to freedom. The There's Dickhead. What did you do to it? <laughs> monster! Monster! Do you have any idea what you have done? I do, Father. I have killed the monster <laughs> and become an outlaw. Get wrecked. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Dude got exactly what he deserved. I don't I don't even feel bad, man. Not even a little bit. Screw that guy. And Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. Oh. Oracle, what is it, boy? He doesn't normally just growl for no reason, man. Yup, there it is. We blowing? Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Damn it. We need to leave. Agreed. Is that... Is that Joshua or is that a different cloaked figure? <laughs> I'm so confused, man. Oh, it's super interesting, man, but I'm so confused. Now you keep yours. No, wait, okay, because Joshua's here. So that's a different cloaked figure. Who is that? Oh, that, uh, what? This way, Your Grace. That's what I'm wondering. Like something to do with dying? Did he. Ah, I'm so lost, so confused. You're bleeding. I have a tonic which will... Uh, I thank you for your kindness. Truly. But I assure you, 
I will survive. Please, save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. I kind of feel bad for her. She wanted to help so bad, and Joshua was just like, nah, dude, fuck that, off. <laughs> I felt my brother's presence. You did. I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. But why now, after five years of silence? I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your grace. No, do not dirty your hands. I wonder, though, if it's just, like, a phantom of him or something, you know? Like, the powers of Ultima seeping out from Joshua. Not, like, a true split, Look but... All. Like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary. While others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek in the Dominion, Your Grace? Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once, when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then, and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? I don't trust Our him. Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss. I don't. And a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation. Sunbreak included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is, this truth will not have escaped his notice. As the Mother Crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers, and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals. <laughs> and yet how spoiled. Like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <laughs> Pretty sure Clive has his mindset on a single goal at the moment. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. Oh, we finally get a name for her, not just attendant or servant or whatever. You would think he would, like, button up his shirt a little bit there. Hide the weird crystal thing in his chest. <laughs> Presumably Ultima's cage. Yeah, there's, what, like, five of them or something like that? And we've destroyed two? The 
army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on Lane Night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough. That's harsh, you bro. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut. And our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Fair point. Fair Instead point. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. Uh, uh, if our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Hmm. It's our bitch of a mother, isn't it? Is that the Empress? Bruh. We can just murder her. <laughs> That's all I want. That's what I want. I know Clive's got his own thing going on. What I just want her to die. Of this, Lord what it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. on their faces when you walked through those doors a perfect picture of stupefaction they could not believe their eyes though I confess I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation oh no dude you should not not one bit <laughs> screw this lady man <laughs> like she is bad Such vibes shocking news i want her to die sid isn't a son of a whore he's the son of an empress your own dear clive absurd who fed you these lies that's our I have mother. Never <laughs> spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless. Oh, also, if you've missed it, nations. Clive is known as Very Sid well. now. Since Sid has died, terms, we now are I Sid. Out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be and to keep to Sid's mission ticket. going, right? You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. Because a lot of people know of Sid and what he does for bearers in and the turn, hideaway that he has and all of that stuff. So, in your capable hands. by keeping the name, they kind of keep hope, Imperium. keep the the goal alive Majesty. yes this the mom <laughs> she bad she bad bad well <laughs> she wasn't but after selling out her husband and sons and everything like that back in the day 
One cannot hide um, she got with one of the kings will ever belong with and beasts. bore him a son, so... I can't remember there which one. I, memory's terrible, but... My darling yeah. Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sam Breck. And when your father goes to meet Great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you were here when we played through the demo, but in the demo, she was literally talking about how Clive was a lesser, like, wasn't worth anything because he had no... He didn't have an iconic ability, so he wasn't worth anything, basically. The only one in the family worth anything was Joshua because he was the one blessed by the Phoenix. Everybody else was just common rabble, not worth her time. She's been in there for hours. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm really hoping we get to be the ones to kill her. <laughs> like, I don't know what that'll do to Clive's psyche and all that, but like, I want to be the one to put a sword through her chest. 100%, man. <laughs> I'm assuming Jill's been in there for hours. I'm scared to like go do anything because it may trigger another 20 minutes of cutscenes, and uh, it's time for us to end tonight. Do it. Ah, uh, okay, fine. We'll see who, and then we're done. It's bedtime. Well, pasta salad, and then bedtime because I it's am hungry. You got class in the morning too. See, the, the story of this game draws you in, man. It's insane. Okay, this way. Get out of the way, people. Yeah, yeah, it will be. Is this the infirmary? I can't remember. Yeah, visit the infirmary. That makes sense. Yeah, it's got to be Joe, dude. I've done what I can. Oh, I forgot I gotta to mow you. the grass first thing in the morning. I guess I'll get one in the morning. Understood. And thank you. Sir, <sighs> your eyes. The has <laughs> I don't think there's any the actual nudity in this game. I don't think. I think it's just implied. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. So I guess that answers that understand. question that I had, though. Not anymore. Dominance do succumb this to the same curse as the bearers. Your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how Maybe hard more slowly, fight, but it inspires us to do the same. Bears when they use their oh, magic, they slowly turn to stone, to basically. On your own? No. That's not Ignore me. And it would seem that dominance, which is what they are, succumb to the same curse as the bearers. Who's gonna bust through the doors? Yup. <laughs> fucking knew it, dude. Every time. <laughs> What's wrong? Rosaria's under attack. Good. Wait, which part of Rosaria? Good Rosaria, bad Rosaria. Like our mother's kingdom, or? <laughs> This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. They're raising hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. 
Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid. <laughs> because as long as it's left to fester, Sid sent him oh, something we'll no of her, his lover, dude. I'm assuming her crescent, but war, as I've had pointed me. out to me, it was a suspiciously head-shaped box or head-sized box. <laughs> and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost <laughs> we don't actually that know already. that she was beheaded. <laughs> it's just I don't lose we just see more. him opening a box from so Sid, and, kill the and then he gets really angry. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this. Together. And Benedicta, his lover, all right, uh, was killed by us shortly before that. <laughs> like. So, like I said, my guess is her crescent that she always wore, but <laughs> there's no way to actually know that. <clears throat> it could have been her head. That's all I'm saying. There's a non-zero possibility that <laughs> Sid sent him her head. But Sid kind of liked Benedicta other than the fact that she was crazy. So, like, I don't think he would have done that. Sid was like, okay, you know, he was a good guy. But yes, no, as you said, bedtime. It is time. Do we have any other memories? Ah, oh, the Martell apples. Ambrosia's tech. Aw. Anyways, okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me while we played a little bit more Final Fantasy 16. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon to play more Final Fantasy 16. Basically just playing until we finish it at this point, to be honest with you. So those of you who aren't doing anything tomorrow, I hope to see you then. Those of you who are, have a wonderful afternoon. And, uh, yeah, good night. Thank you again, and as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye-bye! Luminite, a mysterious stone, an ordinary stone that exists in the underworld, has...